this video, I want to talk about creating a custom sort order in your FileMaker database. Now normally, when you sort records, as we've discussed in other videos, you simply select the field that you want to sort on, like a date or a number field, and you tell the system to sort ascending or descending. However, there is the option in FileMaker for custom sort orders. Now, I don't use this too often, largely because when I'm sorting things, it's normally by number value or something like that. But an issue came up the other day where they were doing some historical research in a database and they needed to sort by dates, except that the dates were both BC and AD dates, right? So as you know, you know, 1101 was at the kind of the beginning of the Gregorian calendar, but we're actually tracking dates that are prior to that. Now, normally, you would just say, well, just, you know, track the negative numbers, but we don't write dates for BC as negative dates. And so the issue came up as how to sort BC and AD correctly or some other kind of custom sorting situation that you run into in FileMaker. Of course, the BC AD thing works out real nice for us in our demo, so we'll just use that for the time being. So what we have going here is we have uh, a field that says BC or AD in it. And what this is, as the user puts in new records of information, they can put in whether this is going to be a BC date. Um, I can say this is going to be a test record here. And I can say it's the you know 21st of uh, July, 345. Now, most of the time when you talk about BC and AD and things like that, you don't deal with exact dates because as you go farther back in history, things get a little squishy in terms of exactness, right? But a lot of people would simply put you know, 345 BC, and maybe that's all you need. So what we wanted to do was set up a list that would sort correctly. Now, if I just sort these fields here, right, uh, we're going to get the BCs and the ADs are going to mix together. And of course, it'd be weird to put negative numbers for the BC numbers to get them to sort beforehand. So we had to create a custom sorting order. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop into layout mode. And I see my inspector right here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, down to Manage, and I'm going to say Value List. Now, what's really important here is the value list of BC and AD. This is really important. You need to set this up. This right here is going to be the order in which we're going to perform a custom sort. So, we have BC and AD here, but if we had FAR or RCC or whatever else, I can put the values in here in any order that I want. Now for BC and AD, it's only BC and AD, but what if this was some sort of custom order in sales? It could be uh, invoiced, it could be paid, it could be uh, shipped, it could be a number of different things in a custom order. So FileMaker is not going to re-scramble this in alphabetical order and reshuffle this around. It's going to preserve this exact order. And this is what I mean by this. I'm going to snap my fingers and unsort the database and now the database is unsorted and you can see it's unsorted up here so it's in the order in which items were created right makes sense and notice that the numbers are bigger and smaller and they're you know so clearly there's no sort involved right here I can say command s or command or control s and this is the sort order that we had set up previously now the important item to note up front is that we're sorting BC or AD and this is the custom sort value right here instead of selecting a field and then saying it's going to descend, be ascending or descending, we actually select custom order based upon the value list. Then it gives you a list of all the value lists. And of course you can manage that right here as well if you want to add or remove something. Now it's not going to reorder the B ahead of the A or the A in front of the B. It's going to resort records in this exact order as provided by this list right here. So it's not going to do any automatic recalculation. It's going to preserve this exact thing. So in this list, B comes before A. Very important to understand. So what I'm going to do first is perform this sort right here. And so first thing the system does, it sorts BC first and then AD. Now notice once again the numbers are not in any sort of order over here because we haven't propelled the system to go that far. So then you say, well, then we just need to put the year in here, right? And so we do the sort. We say we find the year. And we say like that. And we sort it. So then we got little number here at the top. Then bigger, 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 bigger. 
and then little number bigger. Now little number for year here in AD is okay, and then bigger, bigger, bigger all the way to you know 1485, and then of course to the current year of 2015. But for BC, it counts backwards. So what do we do about that? Well, the way we chose to solve it here is we actually defined two extra fields. We have the field that the user puts into, that the user inputs into right here, which is seen over here, which is also this field right here that's either blue or red. And that's a conditional formatting, so that's covered in other videos. Then we have two calculations that we create. One is the year, if it's BC, and then the year, if it's AD, okay? And so what we do is we do a calculation that says, is the year BC? Yes, it is. Then take the relative year, else it's a blank value. Year if it's AD, okay? In plain English, so I'm going to put the year right here, if it's BC. So this is the year BC, and then this is the year AD right here. So then you get to see how this is working. It's really straightforward. At this point, some of you are going, oh, yeah, I get it now. So what we do is first we sort by BC and AD, and then we apply a descending order to BC and an ascending order to AD. Now, when you click on a field, you cannot say that it's going to be ascending and descending both, because really it would apply whether it's AD or BC. So it's kind of a screwed up situation here. So we can't have this field in here. We actually have to go down to this field here, which is BC, and what we do is we say it's descending. And then we go to year relative AD, and we make a note that that should be ascending going up. So first we're doing the custom sort right here, and then we have some additional trickiness because we had to define two different fields that sort in different directions for essentially the same data. It's the same data field, it's a year field, but because BC counts downward to zero and AD counts upward from zero, then they have to go in different directions. So that's what we got cooking right here. So if I say sort and I take a look at this, first we have the BCs and they count down to zero, which is right here, and then it flips to AD and then it sorts by years and it counts upwards right here. So kind of a tricky situation, but it's pretty straightforward once you start to think about it. So you got a custom sort, and then you have some data in a field that you really had to kind of sort two different directions based upon the situation. So we really had to break it out into a couple different fields and then sort those fields differently, ascending or descending, based upon the needs. Now if you like this video, and you want to see other cool videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also check out learningfilemaker.com where you can get your hands on a 33-hour FileMaker Pro 14 video course that's really awesome.